Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jeremy and welcome back to my OP prison series. Yay, we're back! So, I haven't recorded for a couple weeks on here and I have done some work at my plot. So, it is getting there slowly. It's not 100% complete. On a construction sign is still up. So, we have some different concepts going on here. I read a comment which said you should try and blend in with your surrounding environment a bit. So I've seen that people have used quartz block pillars and whatnot around the neighborhood. Bunch of stuff over there. So I've erected these quartz pillars. I'm going to do something with these. I'm not sure if I'll do a roof on top of this. Or maybe some beams going across and maybe like a circular kind of roof that you can see through. But not like a, a roof that just shades out the whole block. Because I think that would be a little too much. So this is what I've been working on. We had a concept idea from Flip Out in the comments section. It says, plot idea, make a fishing theme plot with water and mit mini houses, I think it was, yeah. So, I'm not sure about the houses. There were a lot of different concepts I collected from comments from all you people, which said a lot of cool things. Some of them I couldn't really do. There was one which said, like, make mini wolves everywhere and thought about it. On the factions server, which is on this hub, they have big wolves. And I wanted something like that. Not sure if I could fit it, but at the moment... We have this, I could fish here or whatever, then it's going to drop down down below. This is where you come to when you come to my plot. Go straight ahead. I think um, when I get more clay, I might make these all different colors. But at the moment, we have red and orange over there. So this is the storage over here. This is where I've just been putting things. A lot of people come to my plot and gave me some blocks to use for building, which is awesome. I have a bunch of stuff left over. People kept trying to give me emerald blocks and diamond blocks, which is awesome, but I wasn't taking them, so I just gave them back to other people. So here we are. This is the thing. The thing. It's going to drop down. Probably have something down here, like a shop or maybe storage, all that sort of stuff. So <laughs> it is getting there slowly. I haven't had a plot like this before. Trying to keep it kind of symmetrical. I counted this out well. It's like 32 across, 32 that way. So yeah, entrance is too wide. Just trying to get it to blend nicely. So eventually this will have a lot more detail. At the moment, this is what it looks like. So I think it's going okay. If you have any suggestions for this that you'd like to see implemented, make sure to leave a comment. I've been reading all the comments recently and a lot of good suggestions out there. I love all the different ideas. So yeah, let's get into the episode. I picked up this pickaxe today. It has Unbreaking 15, Fortune 15 and Efficiency 15. So it's slightly better than this starter pick, apart from the unbreaking, which is a bit lower, though I'm not too bothered about that. So I'm going to use that for the time being when I go mining and put these away. Probably don't need the sword out for now. Just keep the pick out and have some food in my inventory. We have a current balance of 2.3 million, which is accumulating slowly. And to rank up, it is 3 million. So we're 700,000 away. A lot of people saying hi, YouTube in the chat down there. So that's cool. So we are going to do a bit more mining. I've collected a bunch of questions from my Twitter. Once again, you can use hashtag ask Jeremy if you want to ask a question for this series and I will try and answer it. Oh, look at the chat. I currently have a bounty on my head of, I don't even know what that sum is. What is that? $372 million. Okay. Well, that is a lot of money and my inventory is full already. So yeah, that's crazy. I don't know how I got such a high bounty. Let's just toss that out for now. I'll do some plot reviews and things in the future. Just holding off a bit more for that. And wow, huge bounty. So if I die in PvP, someone is going to collect a massive bounty. So it's going to be interesting when I go out to PvP. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but that is one big bounty. Already have enough money to rank up. So that was pretty easy. A lot of people just came in and just raced through. Oh, look, just picking up blocks like that. It's crazy. So I'm going to rank up in just a moment. We're going to rank up to F, and I think once I get to F, it should take a little bit more to rank up, so I'll be able to answer these questions while doing some mining, and that should be fabulous. So, yeah, the thing in the middle of my plot is a fishing kind of area. I'm going to use that for fishing. Sometimes when I go to what pond, it is hard to fish there. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's do it. Rank up. We can do this. Boom, rank F. Excellent. We have ranked up to F. I'm going to go check that out right now. And let's see how it differs to Warp E. Whoa, so we're in the nether, it looks like here. Interesting. And a lot of different blocks. There is some brown stained clay. I'm not sure what color that is, actually. No, that is gray. Looks brown to me, but it's actually gray. 
So, I am gonna start mining. Balance of zero dollars. Oh, Sander is looking a bit creepy. So, we're gonna do question time now. Let's get started. First up, Noob Slayers has asked, on a scale of one to 10, what color is the universe? And I would say 10, I think. Wait, is that how I'm meant to answer that? I think, <laughs> I'm not sure. And also, are you going to Minecon UK? Yes, I would love to go to Minecon UK if I can. That would be awesome and I would love to be there. Went to the last Minecon in 2013 in Orlando, Florida and the one before that in Paris. So I would love to go to this year's Minecon which is meant to be in London and I think July? I think that's right. So yeah, that's a good question. Next question is from Blazing Bulldog and the question is if you could be any animal for a day, what would it be and what would you do? I would be a cat and I would sleep all day because cats left to sleep and I would love to do that. George Cat asked a question, do you ever plan on doing a retro series like you did ages ago? And the example he's given for that is build and play. So my answer to this question is yes, I've thought of bringing back Minecraft Comes Alive and there's a few other series that are discontinued at the moment on my channel that I will possibly bring back in the future. So yeah, thank you for that question, George Cat. That's a good one. I've realized that using this pickaxe, my inventory fills up a lot quicker when mining ores because of the higher fortune. Didn't really think about that, but that's cool too. So each inventory is a lot quicker than the last. So the last few questions I've chosen today are pretty straightforward. And the first one is from Meow. And the question is top or bottom? My answer to that is top, just cause I don't know. I like sleeping on top of the bed, not underneath or uh, riding on top of the car. Wait, no, that doesn't work in that way. What else can I say? Riding on top of the swing, not under. I don't even know, dude. But yeah, anyway, the next question is from Danny Aller. And the question there is, do you like turtles? And my answer to that is, yeah, I like turtles. Do you like turtles? That's the question, actually. I remember when I was younger, like, I had a friend that had a pet turtle. I've actually known a few people to have pet turtles. And I'm, I don't know how to say this without sounding grim, but a lot of the time they don't go very well. I'm not sure. I'm seriously already halfway to the next prestige and I've probably done about five minutes of mining. So this is definitely speeding up the process a lot using the fortune on the pickaxe because when I mine these ones, duh, fills up quicker. So anyway, apart from that, we have two more questions today. Whoa, look what I've found in the mine. Whoa, eucalyptus leaves. Now it's pretty much just normal leaves, but that is the Australian language pack. It's called eucalyptus leaves. Pretty interesting. And this is a twig. Apparently we call these a twig. I'd probably call it a stick, but that's interesting. Anyhow, the second last question I've chosen to use today is from Emily. And the question is, do you like penguins? And I don't know, I like turtles. The last question for today is a question asking if someone can ask a question. Nuclear Pixels ask, can I ask you a question? And my question to that question is, can I ask you a question, please? And if so, do you like turtles? So I calculated if I removed the bounty off my head and got all that bounty, that means I would have enough money to rank up to N right now because it is literally so much money sitting on my head. Let's have a look. HH list. Where am I on here? Whoa, there's a lot of bounties. Okay, I can't find myself. There it is. There is $402 million on my head. Pretty sure that can get us like halfway to prestige. So that is so much money. I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I want to PvP eventually. I'm going to have to go, like, go out with bodyguards or something. It's going to be funny. I'm not really too bothered about it. I'm not sure who even put it on my head. That is a heck of a lot of money. Crazy. Okay, inventory is full. Let's see where we get to for selling all this stuff. 687,000. So, we are nearly at the next rank. That's cool. Nearly there. Didn't take too long either. Oh, so this is what what PvP looks like. I haven't actually been here yet. You can buy potions, so I'll have to check this out at some stage. Not when I'm using armor like this, though, because probably die in, like, two hits at there. So we have potions galore. Cool area, actually, and it drops down, and then you can go out here, and there's a little area. It looks quite nice out there, too. Hang on. Wait. This looks really close to a turtle. If we've just been talking about turtles this whole time and that's meant to be a turtle, that would be amazing. So, I have to dig out this whole area down here. I think I can do something good with this floor. Pretty sure. It's just going to take a while to dig it out. And I'm not sure if I'll utilize the space below it. So, I've normally done that with plots in the past. Have a downstairs area. 
going to leave this episode here today. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I am going to work a bit more on my plot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to leave a like for more and I will see you in the next episode. My name is Jeremy. Goodbye.